Hi everyone, I haven't done one of these weekend meal preps in a while and I have one for you this week. I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna be starting with our eggplant salad. It's an eggplant salad mixed with a carrot salad all in one. It is really beautifully presented and it tastes amazing. So to start, you're gonna take an eggplant, you're gonna cut it lengthwise into very thin slices and each slice then I will be dipping it into oil. You could use any oil of your choice, avocado oil, olive oil, regular vegetable oil, and place that on a parchment lined baking sheet. And I'm gonna be broiling that for five to seven minutes on each side until they're nice and golden. And before I place them into the oven, I do season the eggplants with some salt and pepper. the eggplants finish cooking I'm going to be using a mandolin slicer to cut up my uh, carrots and julienne I'll leave a link to the mandolin slicer that I use so I slice up the carrots I put about a tablespoon of salt and I massage the carrots until they become more pliable and easy to work with um, I add in one garlic a little bit of sugar avocado oil and vinegar any greens of your choice. I usually use dill, but I didn't have any on hand today, so I use some uh, parsley cilantro mixed in. After that is all incorporated and mixed in together, I'm going to be filling the eggplants with them. So here I'm just taking about a tablespoon of the carrot salad, placing it on one end of the eggplant and rolling it up. And I'm going to be doing that for the rest of them. I'll be garnishing that with the rest of the greens and it's just such a beautiful presentation. Now we're on to this gorgeous purple cabbage salad. What I do is I take my mandolin slicer with just the blade in place and I shred that with the rest of the remaining vegetables that you see here. One cucumber, different colored peppers, half of an onion, and some radishes. I also put a little bit of greens, any greens of your choice will do just fine. I season that as well with salt and pepper, sugar, vinegar, and avocado oil.
To the salad, I also add in one garlic clove that I mince, a handful of craisins, and a handful of pecans. Look at all those gorgeous colors, doesn't it just look incredible? This is a tuna salad that my mom taught me how to make. It's really delicious and quite healthy because there's sauerkraut inside which has a lot of good probiotics. So the recipe for this is one can of tuna, a bunch of cilantro, half of an onion sliced into moons, Preferably a red pepper, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just used some, used some yellow one. And then you add in a bunch of sauerkraut that you have to squeeze out so that it's nice and dry when you put it into the salad. You mix all of that with some mayo, salt, and pepper. Here we are on to our last salad. This is called vinaigrette. It's a vegetable salad mixed with sauerkraut as well. Um, I roast my beets that I use for this salad in the oven. It comes out great because I don't even have to peel it. It just, the skin really just slides right off as you can see over here. And I feel like it's much more healthier. The, the beet juices stay inside and it doesn't lose any of its flavor and the gorgeous color still remains. I'm going to be slicing up all of the vegetables into small cubes, starting with the beets. Then I have one carrot that I'm going to be peeling that's already been boiled, also slicing it into small cubes, as well as two medium-sized potatoes.
The carrots and potatoes for the salad can definitely be boiled already peeled. You just have to be careful not to have them become overboiled and start falling apart on you. So to that, to the potatoes, to the carrots and the beets, I added in half of an onion sliced into half moons, two pickles sliced into cubes, and some cilantro. I seasoned that with some vinegar, avocado oil, salt, and pepper. I'm just gonna take a little break to, uh, from Shabbat prep and I'm going to make my kids some chalpak, which is basically fried dough that we uh, dip in a yogurt sauce with some garlic and cilantro or garlic and dill. And it comes out super great. And uh, if you wanna see how I make it, um, then please keep watching. I'll have the link to my challah dough in the description bar. And so I'll just show you how I fry up the dough. It's nothing special. You just roll out your dough, not so, so thin. So this dough that I'm using, I made it the night before. I made challah with it and I had some leftover and my kids love it uh, when I fry it up. And it's, it really comes out delicious with some yogurt dipping sauce that I'll show you how to make. Cut them into squares.
created. Uh, so check that out. Here I'm making some fried flounder. I have some flour that I'm going to be sprinkling in garlic and seasoning salt and into the egg mixture as well I'll be putting in some seasoning salt. I washed my fish, placed it first into the flour to coat it really well and then into the egg and I fried it on both sides until they're nice and golden and crispy. Now I'm making some matzo ball soup. I cut up a bunch of vegetables. Any vegetables of your choice will do. I have here some celery, carrots, potatoes, and onions that I'm going to be chopping up fairly medium size. And I will be throwing them into a pot that's already had some drumsticks that have boiled. And I'm going to be skimming off the dirty film that comes off when you're boiling it raw chicken i'm going to skim that off and place all the vegetables inside and season it with a few bay leaves some garlic salt pepper chicken consomme that I use and I just follow the directions fourth cup of oil two eggs and the matzo ball mixture and then it says to mix and to leave it for 15 minutes to stand and absorb all the fluid after the soup's been cooking for about 30 minutes, I place in my matzo balls I make them fairly small because they do plump up a lot
this sweet chili lamb recipe i originally made on passover and it came out so incredibly juicy and delicious the meat just fell off the bone but something that i tried new this time was adding in radishes into the meal i actually never knew that you couldn't cook with radishes i've always eaten them as a child raw or in salads but then i started to uh, look through Pinterest what to do with all the radishes that I had in the house and I saw that people were cooking with them and I tried them in this dish and they actually came out so pretty and they tasted somewhat like a potato and they're low calorie so it was a good decision <laughs> So to the lamb, I added in potatoes, an onion, radishes, and I seasoned it with Montreal steak seasoning and some sweet chili sauce. I baked it at 400 degrees for two to three hours. Baby, you're awake. Down. Hope you enjoyed this weekend meal prep with me, and I hope you don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy these types of videos, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you.